how to use Taskade AI. So Taskade AI is a very good tool by Taskade to create projects in your workspaces. So what is Taskade? Taskade is a very good web service. They they also have apps uh, for your mobile and your PC. Uh, to it's basically a notion. So uh, it's it's a collaborative workspace tool for you or your team to uh, work uh, and create a second brain over there. You can add tasks and you can create workspaces for the uh, wikis um, that maybe you wanna uh, do or project management. Uh, the 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 possibilities are endless in Taskade, right? So let's get started. Now, the difference between Notion and uh, Taskade is Taskade is very task oriented, so it is very geared towards um, very geared towards projects. If you see, because the because they have uh, put a huge emphasis on tasks. Now, the first thing that you want to do uh, when you have your Taskade account already set up is to create your workspace. Now this is my workspace over here on the bottom over here. They have a, an icon, that's your workspace. And in your workspace, you can add projects. Now, uh, one thing that is under projects are uh, tasks and that and those tasks are uh, the, the, the stuff that will populate your my task list over here. So let's go over your project. Now you can add a new folder for a new uh, information. Uh, maybe like uh, uh, you can add folder for each divisions. Now the cool thing about Taskade is you can actually control the uh, amount of uh, like the portions or sections of your workspaces uh, access to different uh, people. So if you're working with uh, freelancers, this is very good because you can control their uh, access in your workspace. And the cool thing about Taskade, uh, another cool thing is you can create everything with AI. So you don't have to uh, do all the heavy lifting. You just need to think exactly what you want to do in your uh, project. So for example, you want to create projects with AI. I want to create a project uh, to automate a process for a car purchase uh, paperwork. So I can do that uh, and I can send the AI prompt and it will create exactly the thing that I wanted uh, to uh, create. So uh, what it does is that it will generate tasks and, uh, and uh, you can set this as a wiki or you can set this as a, uh, a to-do list for each uh, task like a template for each car sales you can do that you can continue writing you can make it longer or uh, you can create like maybe uh, an explanation for each I'm gonna uh, go ahead and just create project uh, right away okay so in each of your project you will have your tasks right and your task there are a few things that you can do in your project you can uh, firstly is the default view but of course you want to add time context to that and the progress uh, that's uh, the uh, job of the Kanban board and the calendar view to uh, to you. So the Kanban board is very useful to like group them into different uh, categories. Oops. And you can uh, group your uh, tasks from like days over here. So this is like a roadmap for the next week. Or you can add like the, the traditional Kanban board of like not started, in progress, uh, and completed. And to add the time context to each task, you can add like added calendar and uh, sync with calendar. Or you can add them directly to your uh, task over here to put uh, time context to them. So yeah, that's how you uh, create time context. Uh, now let's go over to the actual task view so the first thing is the recent this is the quick access for you uh, for your most recent uh, things that you open now let's go to my tasks and I actually haven't added a date before so you can have a lot of uh, properties in your task so due date assignees space and project 
uh, is your option for each uh, task and I, I highly recommend you to populate each of these parameters uh, in your task so the due date let's say the due date the visit dealership for uh, test drives maybe I'll do it tomorrow I'll set it I can also set an end time and assignee I can add uh, a person in addition to me once you added the uh, persons in settings you can add a person uh, by adding and inviting them to uh, your workspace via email now the next thing that you want to do is to of course uh, group your task and uh, based on the deadlines and uh, once you add a time context by adding dates to them you can see uh, your tasks uh, in the calendar view over here now uh, it's very useful to uh, add uh, the date for each task once again to uh, add them to your calendar and now other than that you can filter your task based on the past due today upcoming or if I haven't added any date and you can set, sort your tasks based off of uh, the assigned to now this is very useful uh, for your team and yourself because you can focus on the tasks that you actually need to do and it's assigned to you and next is the workspace and folders you can uh, click all uh, all tasks from different workspace or uh, folders but you can also uh, sort your uh, task based off of uh, workspaces so the workflow is maybe the first thing in the morning you want to see your uh, total ta your uh, all tasks from different projects of course you will maybe working on uh, different projects in one time and after that if you want to focus on one of the workspaces or the tasks in a specific workspace you can just click uh, the your workspace on the list over here so you can also uh, set uh, sort your uh, task based off of the due date over here so that's very useful too and nextly is your uh, start so if there's a task that is per that needs particular uh, attention from you you can of course see that uh, you can of course star a task and uh, add them to your start list so that's how you do that and next is the shared with me so uh, the shared with me project uh, if you have a if you have been invited to a project uh, from other people's taskade you will see them over here now a cool thing about taskade is that it's not only limited to tasks right so you can have your agents your automations your media your roadmap and templates now uh, you can see your task uh, other than uh, in addition to these six uh, views of your task like the calendar like the table and mind map over here that's a lot of that's very advanced and I like it and the org chart over here you can also uh, uh, your project will have the same flexibility as well so uh, I'm in your workspace so in your workspace let's go back to our workspace over real quick and let's okay so in your workspace each project uh, can also have a uh, an automation so let's add an automation and uh, again with every automation task you can click uh, you can choose the triggers so for example if you want to have uh, an automation of uh, maybe the new uh, task assign a new task assigned you want to uh, add them to your notification you can also do that so when uh, a task is assigned to whomever it is uh, the f uh, you can add actions you can create project create a task or uh, move task within project and etc and that's how you basically uh, set up your uh, automation and taskade projects okay so the next thing other than uh, uh, the automations it's your agents so agents are um, a virtual team so if you want to create an agent this is basically like a an AI for uh, your uh, team so if you want to have a summarizer agent you can also you can add them SEO agent project manager agent 
uh, Testcade is AI powered, so you can add AI uh, virtual team members for you. So for example, if I want to have a financial advisor, like a virtual financial advisor, I can create it. And uh, this is like the instructions, you can put the instructions and um, this is where you set their uh, job description and etc. Uh, you can set their tone to be formal, optimistic, humorous, sarcastic, or you can change their language. And also you can add a web search tool, Wolfram Alpha, or add-on uh, or other add-ons capabilities. So they have these capabilities. You can enable a knowledge. So... Uh, they have they can have a knowledge of your maybe your financial report may just put them over here uh, you can also add uh, you can also add commands so you can set up your, their commands over here so uh, whenever you bring up uh, these commands to them they will know what to do and that is how you create your first agent and lastly is the roadmap so the roadmap is basically like the time context project. So if you have a calendar for your task, you have your roadmap for your projects. So let's say this project will be ending uh, ending at this much. The, the, it will start at today and it will end like... Yeah, it will start today and it will end like in the in the next 10 days, right? Now, you can see these time context project. Uh, you should see these time context project in the roadmap. So let's see uh, if we can add a start date. And the start date is this and the end time is this. So let's, yeah, so the start date is 10 to 20. Okay, now you should see uh, the your project in the roadmap and this is how you can see uh, which projects that you should be prioritizing and which projects that you should be working on right now and your uh, like your workspace roadmap okay so that's all for me thank you have we have a good luck